good afternoon. It is great to be here surrounded by so many friends. Thank you all for coming. And I am very proud to be here to support Maggie Hassan for governor of the state of New York. Maggie Hassan is the leader that we need to keep New Hampshire moving forward, creating jobs, ensuring that our kids get the best education possible, and keeping New Hampshire a business-friendly state with no sales or income tax. Now, I know you've heard me say it many times, but I'm going to say it again. I believe that we live in the greatest state, in the greatest country in the world. We are the most livable state, the safest state, and an acknowledgement that I am particularly proud of, we are the best state in the country in which to raise kids. Our unemployment rate is one of the lowest in the country. We have one of the fastest growing economies, and we are one of the most business-friendly states in the country. In fact, the Kauffman Foundation, a nonpartisan group, recently surveyed over 6,000 businesses across the country, and as a result, that determined that New Hampshire is in the top five of business-friendly states in the nation. By any national measure, New Hampshire is at or near the top. And it didn't happen by accident. It happened because we have a successful strategy that has made New Hampshire the envy of the nation. It's a bipartisan strategy put in place by Democrats, Republicans, and Independents. And Maggie Hassan understands that it takes bipartisan leadership focused on the issues that matter most to our people growing jobs and strengthening the economy, improving education, lowering health care costs, and increasing public safety. And I am proud to have worked with Maggie in building on that strategy and moving New Hampshire forward. We work together and with law enforcement to pass the nation's toughest laws against sex predators. Together we passed a law that told insurance companies, no longer can you discriminate against sick or older workers, not here in New Hampshire. <laughs> Working together, we created a lower cost health care option for New Hampshire businesses, and we expanded health insurance for our children here in our great state. And in the midst of the worst economic times since the Great Depression, Maggie and I worked to balance the budget, protecting essential services, again, with no sales or income tax. <laughs> Maggie Hassan understands that a smart budget does not cut funding to our hospitals by hundreds of millions of dollars. And a budget that's focused on our economic future and the future of our young people would never cut funding to our colleges and universities by 50%. <laughs> Working together, we reinstated the Job Training Fund, providing over 14,000 workers with new skills for good jobs keeping those jobs right here in New Hampshire. <laughs> Together, we increased the minimum wage. <laughs> we created a research and development tax credit to help businesses grow good jobs right here in New Hampshire. And we stood firm to protect the collective bargaining rights of our workers here in New Hampshire. Maggie Hassan 
understands that education is all about opportunity. The opportunity that we offer to our young people to live better lives. That's why, working together, we increased our compulsory school attendance, uh, attendance age to age 18, while providing alternative education programs for those students who don't do their best learning in the traditional classroom environment. And as a result, we're able to lower our high school dropout rate to a remarkably low 1%. <laughs> And with Maggie's leadership, we made public kindergarten a reality for every child in New Hampshire. <laughs> Working together, we built on a strategy that has made New Hampshire a national leader. And now New Hampshire needs Maggie Hassan to keep us moving down that path. Like many of you, I have known Maggie Hassan and worked closely with her, and I can tell you that she is a person of integrity, a person of compassion, a person with smarts and common sense, and the New Hampshire values that we need to move our state forward. She is someone who gets up every morning with the purpose of helping her community and our state and building a better future, not just for her family, but for all families here in New Hampshire. So if we want to continue what we started eight years ago, bipartisan leadership that is making progress on the issues that matter most to the people of New Hampshire, we need to elect Maggie Hassan as the next governor. opportunity to work shoulder to shoulder with him on so many issues. Governor Lynch has shown us all how to bring business smarts, compassion, and common sense to the budgeting process, how to put partisanship aside to get results, and how to always, always put the people of New Hampshire first. examples I will take with me to the State House. As a leader in the State Senate, I was proud to work closely with Governor Lynch. In tough, in tough times, we cut spending and balanced the budget without a sales or an income tax. We created an innovative program, New Hampshire Working, that makes it easier for companies and workers to join together to avoid layoffs and to bring new workers on the job. We created the Research and Development Tax Credit and a job training program that has helped train more than 14,000 workers for better jobs. We worked together to end 15 years of school funding lawsuits, to cut the dropout rate in half, and to make sure that every child in New Hampshire could go to kindergarten. And that is the clear and stark choice in this election. 
Will we move New Hampshire forward as we have under Governor Lynch, bringing people together to get results? Or will New Hampshire go backward with the extreme and divisive agenda of Ovid LaMontagne and the Bill O'Brien legislature? <laughs> Don't boo, vote. Right? <laughs> As governor, I will move New Hampshire forward with an innovation plan that will help our businesses grow so that our families can succeed. As governor, I will maintain and build on New Hampshire's competitive advantages to make New Hampshire the best place in America to do business. And let me be very clear, I will veto an income or a sales tax. Now, Ovid LaMontagne has said that he wants to be radically different, a radically different governor than John Lynch, and he seems intent on proving it with his extreme policy positions. Ovid wants a constitutional amendment that would end the state's responsibility for local schools and wants to divert taxpayer money to private religious schools. What am I going to say? Don't <laughs> He supports teaching creationism in our public schools. He has said that ensuring universal public kindergarten was a mistake. That if the legislature could make sure every child could go to kindergarten, my goodness, what would come next? <laughs> That's Ovid's radical difference. I'll tell you what will come next if you help elect me in November public money going to public schools. <laughs> tougher, tougher and better math and science standards. So New Hampshire is building the homegrown workforce our businesses need. That's the New Hampshire way. That's how we can move New Hampshire forward. This legislature cut funding for higher education in half, raising costs on our middle class families. Ovid has said that tuition costs are not his utmost concern, and that investing in an educated workforce is, and I'm quoting here, putting the cart before the horse. That's Ovid's radical difference. Well, tuition costs matters to me and to families across New Hampshire. That's why my innovation plan begins reinvesting in our public colleges and freezes tuition for the next two years. <laughs> That's the New Hampshire way. That's how we can move New Hampshire forward. This legislature has cut health care for thousands of New Hampshire citizens. It even tried to repeal a 12-year-old law requiring insurance coverage for birth control, which would have raised health care costs for women across New Hampshire. Now, Ovid LaMontagne has a plan for the state to take over Medicare for our seniors. It's a plan that could increase health care costs for our seniors by thousands of dollars a year. That's Ovid's radical difference. Well, I've worked with Democrats and Republicans to end the ability of insurance companies to discriminate against sick workers and to pass a law that let, let young people stay on their parents' health insurance until age 26. <laughs> and I am going to keep fighting to make sure that our citizens have the health care they need at a price they and our businesses can afford. That starts with stopping any legislative takeover of Medicare. That's the only thing. New Hampshire way, and that's how we will move New Hampshire forward. Under Ovid LaMontagne's version of Live Free or Die, abortion would be illegal even for the victims of rape or incest, and doctors and women would be treated as criminals, and the state would get to prevent loving couples from marrying. That's 
Ovid's radical difference. I believe live free or die means that workers should have the right to organize all of the and that women should be able to make their own health care decisions. That's live free or die. That's what I will fight for. That's the New Hampshire way. And folks, that's what's at stake in this election. We can continue in the direction of Governor John Lynch, bringing people together to move New Hampshire forward, or we can go in the direction of Speaker Bill O'Brien and the current legislature, where the needs of middle class families take a back seat to an extreme social agenda. In the words of our great Governor John Lynch, we live in the greatest state, in the greatest country, in the world. Together we can make it even greater. every child go to a good school and afford college. We can build a smarter state government on a foundation of common sense and fiscal responsibility, build a stronger economy on a vision of innovation and growth, and ensure that all of our citizens share in the liberties and rights that our state holds so dear. That's the New Hampshire way. That's what we can do together. I ask for your support and your vote to make it a reality. Because if you give me your time and your energy over the next 28 days, I will work every day for you for the next two years to make our state an even better place. So thank you and let's get to work.